Doak Campbell Stadium will rename or remain the same. The name will remain the same. No changing happening to Doak Campbell Stadium. It's very interesting thing with that. I found out my favorite professor at Florida State, Dr. Maxine Jones, African American woman, one of their top history professors, mm-hmm. is the one who was on in charge of the committee. And when they came out, said that there was no no real reason to justify changing the name. It kind of caught me off guard when I read that. Interesting. Yeah, because based on our conversation here, even though it still had yet to be decided officially, I thought it was a done deal just uh, based on your responses. Well, I, I would like to say I'm disappointed, but I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'd like to say I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised. <laughs> I mean, it just depends on the name. Right? I mean, she went in and they were able to find some things where he did reach across. Like, well, he may have been a segregationist, but he did, you know, do some things to try to help FAMU and, and help some other stuff. I guess they deemed the redeeming qualities, but honestly, it was a great opportunity to make money for Florida State, a school that could really use to really use the naming rights deal. So, I mean, it's not like, but that's what you get when you name stuff after people, you know, not, it's not revisionist just because it happened, but it's, um, you know, time change and you learn of ills or you learn of, um, of stupid ass thought processes that you, that, that aren't becoming. And then you have to change, then you have to like kind of push it to the back. And do you want to put that in the forefront? Hopefully it works out for the university, but that's a, um, that's just another tool that people will probably keep in their back pocket to use for recruiting. Yeah. So James, um, not even looking at the morality or the right or wrong portion of it, just looking at it as a business decision, it's not a good decision from the standpoint you just brought up. That was a money-making opportunity. Number two, from the standpoint of, I would think that most people would have voted given the opportunity to change the name. Most Florida State alums, fans, however much you wanted, would want to broaden out that that survey or poll, I would think, I would think. I mean, I think the people that matter don't care. Like, are like, hey, fine, if this is what it is, but there's always that vocal minority. We have it with all this stuff. We have it here in Jacksonville right now where – uh, basically, the city the city council kind of voted um, in favor of renaming all the schools that are named after Confederate um, generals or or all Confederate people who are favored to the Confederate to the Confederate flag. Now, granted, you know people believe that this is called revisionist history, like you're taking them out of books or you're like taking people's ability to actually learn about these people away. No, it's not. It's just taking away being honored for being honored for, for, for not being the greatest American or, or not being honored for a variety of different things. It doesn't mean that they go away when you talk about stuff, but, you know, when I look at, you know, Dope, Campbell, I, I, to me, I'm a legacy guy, right? I want people to know that, you know, the MFTK philosophy of a lot of the stuff that I do in the community, like if I ever die, and somebody wants to honor me, I hope they would honor me based upon what my legacy and what I live for. If I were a segregationist and I didn't want, you know, races intermingling, I would not want to be named after a building that's literally rose to prominence off of races intermingling. It's literally doing the exact opposite of honoring what I stood for and what I live for. On top of that, that's just the the, the literal sense. On top of it, I think stadium naming rights got to be worth five to ten million a year. I can't see a school that's behind Nebraska, who's building another football only facility, who has one since I was in grade school. Like you've got Vanderbilt building stuff. You've got all these other schools and in, in, that you're competing with that are also getting be- bigger TV deals. Why is this the the, the, the mountain or the hill? that people want to climb, want to die on. Like, we can all agree, if nothing else, we can all agree, yo, we could use another five to ten million. 
it I'll say this. I'll say it like this. You had a convenient out to keep the to keep a certain segment of the fan base, certain segment of the population happy, and just name it Bobby Brown Stadium. Just move Bobby Brown's name up from the field, call it Bobby Brown Stadium. It makes everyone happy. It makes all Florida State fans happy. And he did more for that football program than anyone else. You had the easy name. If you don't want a corporate sponsor, if you don't want to sell out, that's fine. I get it. You had an easy name and you didn't want to make the change. So it's but it's the latest disappointing move from our administration and those in charge. It's not shocking. <laughs> not that I'm mad, just disappointed. <laughs> You've heard that before, Logan, right? I have. I've heard that saying. It's yeah. just a little outdated, but we'll let it. We'll let it slide. We've heard it when you've disappointed your parents. It's okay. I get it. 